So, uh, here is the clocking diagram of this um, microcontroller. We have seen that uh, uh, first of all we have to configure this part and this part and once we have uh, set these two dividers then we can set uh, this bit and then gain of uh, this block and um, then we can set the range of the to the, this register configuration register the range of uh, the oscillator we can tell that and then uh, uh, after this uh, uh, configuration then we can check the mm, control and status register uh, that then uh, in this control and status register for example here we have this one this is the, we have set the clocks and then here we have uh, this configuration register uh, uh, this we have set the street ring clock uh, uh, external oscillator the gain and then the range of the uh, crystal oscillator then after these uh, things we have to um, see that the control and status register had uh, is not locked and this monitor is disabled and then we can uh, set the uh, then we can enable uh, the uh, enable pin in the control and status register and then we will have uh, this complete block running with the 8 megahertz if we have a crystal here with 8 megahertz now after that we have to do the, uh, the ELL configuration here we get this uh, 8 megahertz clock and then with this 8, 8 megahertz clock then we can set this uh, pre divider and then this analog part and then we will Mm, then set these two uh, divider to get these two clocks so if we set these two dividers then mm, mm, divide dvn of one then uh, we will what is here we will get here so now uh, how to mm, do this this is uh, for example here here is again the same sequence we have the dividers these two dividers we can see here and then after these two dividers we have this one this part and uh, here is a uh, prescaler so this so this part is this bit p divider is set to zero so we can see here uh, um, this part is actually zero so zero here means that the division is uh, uh, there is no division we can see here in the registers also these are the two divider registers so when we uh, these are the two divider registers which we have seen um, here these two divider registers so we can um, have when they are uh, uh, they have a value of we can see zero uh, uh, we can see they both have value 1 and then value 1 and then we can see here when the value is 1 then is, there is no division next step is this one what is the uh, uh, multiplication factor in this uh, PLL so this so we have a multiplier here we can see this uh, configuration register so we can mm, choose a multiplication factor on this register for for uh, for this point so when we select for example here 28 then we can mm, do a multiplication with uh, 28 so we can see here here we have set the multiplication factor to to 12 so we can see this uh, when we write 12 here then we get uh, uh, a multiplication of uh, 28 so multiplication factor is 28 with this 12 so now 
after this one we can see that uh, we have a dividing factor of 2 so when we have 8 megahertz from here and then we have uh, dividing factor of because this value is set to 0 so we have a 1 division with 1 so we have 8 megahertz here and this 8 megahertz will be multiplied with this uh, value of 28 and then it will be divided by this 2 so we will get um, uh, we can do it this multiplication with this one calculator so we can do that 8 multiply 28 and then divided by 2 so we will get 112 megahertz so we can go here and we can see when we select this one clock manager and then we can select this one clock configuration and then in clock summary we select this clock summary and then we can see here that this SQL clock is 112 megahertz and then mm, we, because we have dividers of 1 here you can see we have dividers of 1 so we will get uh, no division at this point so whatever will be coming here will go here so these two clocks will also be 112 megahertz so 8 megahertz no division multiply by 28 and divide by 2 so we will get this one when we have this divider so all these things when we even we um, do this configuration first of all it is always better to check uh, these two bits so this is the this one control status register can only be written with one and then there is this one ELL enable so this should also be zero so once uh, we want to configure this one we have to make sure this that these two are zero this is enabled and this is also at disabled this PLL enable so this is the mm, this is this register control and status so this is just like the previous case also where we have a system oscillator there we have also these this uh, uh, pin so this should be disabled here we can see here uh, that this is uh, here false and in the above case it was also false so this should be false uh, before we enable this uh, uh, system oscillator so once here you can see also in the other code here this one here when we okay here we can see also that we have to check this uh, mask in the control uh, and status uh, register that this is zero so this in this example this is con this ELL is configured for 160 megahertz so we can see here that uh, we check this mask here this is this is here this one this mask here and then we also make sure that this is zero so you can see this one here this should be disabled and here it is the mask is checked and then we set this division here he here it divide by uh, 2 is set and there and then divide by 4 is set so we can have uh, different clocks uh, uh, at these two points so this one and this one we can have different clocks so if we set this divider for example uh, by 2 so 160 divide 2 this will be 80 megahertz and this will be 40 megahertz this clock at this these two points 80 and 61 one here when we have here 
2 divided by 2 and divided by 4. So this is um, what, uh, it, what is done in this example. Here is this divider, pre-divider, which we see here. Pre-divider, this is, in this example, is set to 0. And so when this is set to 0, this means this is the union is by uh, 1. And then it is, it, 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 it is choosing a, a multiplication factor of 40. So when we write this 1, 8 at this position, so we will get a multiplication factor of 40. So this is actually 20, uh, 24 plus uh, 16. So there is an error here. So we get a multiplication factor of 40 at this point. So we have 8 megahertz clock and then we have this pre-divider this is 0 so this means this is 1 so this is 1 so then we have 40 multiplication factor this is this one with 1 8 we can see this divider also in this one when this is um, 40 when this is 1 and 8 so this is 40 so we get a clock of uh, 160 megahertz uh, at the at the at this PLL output. So before uh, we uh, enable this, before we enable this uh, clock, we again mm, have to check uh, that uh, this is that uh, this lock bit is zero because we when we want to write here we can write here every time but we cannot write here every time so we this should be zero when we are going to want to write here to enable the clock so here we can see that here it is again check that it is unlocked and then control and status register for PLL so here it is then when we are sure that it is zero here we can then make this pin one so when this pin is made one then pll is enabled so control and state register pin make one and then we wait until this we get a valid at this pin so this pin we can see also uh, in this one, this is the valid pin system PLL valid. So system PLL is enabled and output clock is valid. So when this bit one becomes one, then we have a valid PLL clock. So this is we wait here. So this these this weight and this weight and this weight these are not uh, visible in this configuration because this is just the configuration. Here we just to that what are the our clocks or we, that we want to divide and what we which part uh, we want to have the divider and then there is another divider and then there is a multiplication so this is just this uh, path here this divider these two dividers and then this divider is already present and this is a there is a multiplication factor here so we give only these dividers, multiple factors, and we, we make this file so that it is unlocked. This this, this uh, control and status register so that we can enable uh, the PLL clock. Without this, uh, we cannot enable uh, the clock. So and this is the source. So we we select that uh, uh, which is the input of this. PLL, so we can see this one also here. Uh, this, this is zero. So zero means this path is selected. If it is not zero, then uh, you can see this one zero. So zero will select this path. So this will go here. Otherwise, when it is not zero, then this fast IRC will go here, and then clock will be different. So this is all in this uh, part. We will then proceed will with the with the next part which is this 